where's Aaron's gun? Right, um, right with these um, AGM HK 416s, they have a, um, a TMM 16A2 type hop up, which is a two piece hop up. And so when you take them apart, it's best to start here uh, with the with the pistol grip, which is what I'm going to do. Right, let's select my weapon. Look at that, that's come off, that's good. Pop that off. And there's lots of grease around there. So I don't know what we're going to find. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit. Some silicon oil in there and what we're going to do now we're just going to quickly run this down the barrel and just see what sort of state the barrel is in. It feels all right at the moment. Yeah look at that, that is pretty foul. And you need to clean your barrels. It's an example of a what comes out of a barrel that hasn't been cleaned. That's going to need lots of cleaning. That would probably improve the performance as well. The BB port there where the magazine engages with the where bottom of the hop-up unit. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that is filthy. Absolutely filthy. And I suspect the inside of the hop unit will be filthy as well. Yeah. There we go. At last. Right, let's see what we've got here, shall we? Oh. Bit of uh, grass seed. And there's the hop up unit there. Put the receiver down. Let's have a look up it. Yep. Oh gosh, that's horrid. I don't know what you can see there in that port there. There's a, a lot of looks like dust in that area there. That would get into the piston and eventually onto the piston ring, the rubber piston piston seal, and uh, probably cause a less a loss in compression. But I'm going to remove this now and we'll have a look a bit look a bit deeper into this. These uh, two-part, two-piece hop-up units tend to be made from quite weak um, plastic, which, when people over-tighten the screws, what it tends to do is crack the plastic. So very often you'll find, when 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 you get these, uh, one screw is missing. What I did with uh, with with Aaron's is that um, I just checked it underneath through the um, magwell to see if the um, to ensure that the, um, the both screws are in place and they were. So we need to knock this pin out here. Yep, it's coming through okay. That's it. When you look at these pins, they only come out really in one direction. That there has got a uh, it's got a machined end and that helps to grip inside the uh, receiver so if you have to it's better to knock them through from this side because that there goes in that way and that's what keeps them in place the old original TM ones didn't have that and quite often they drop out so that should come out now it's 
There we go. Anyway, our first thing to note, um, let's just put that aside. Uh, first thing to note, all on this gearbox, lots of dirt all around here. It, it sticks to, tends to stick to grease, so it's a typical example of, of probably a little bit too much grease. And what happens uh, when uh, when dust and debris gets in contact? It just sticks to the sticks to the grease. So that will all have to be cleaned off. The uh, underside of this gearbox. This is where version twos usually crack. In this area here, um, there is no sign of any failure. Uh, they sometimes crack up here as well, um, but I can't see anything all wrong with that at the moment. Um, but we'll, they usually you, the first fractures appear usually inside. There is something there though that's interesting. It might just be chipped paint, but this all needs to be cleaned up. Also, if it comes off of the uh, exterior of the gearbox what it means is that uh, when you open the gearbox up and nothing's going to drop inside which is always danger that's interesting uh, that what I thought was a crack is actually on both sides it's been radiused here and here on both sides and what that means is that it, it uh, it's a very good um, thing to have uh, because it uh, reduces um, any stress on any sharp corners. Any sharp corners tend to not take stress very well and that's hence where you get cracked version 2 gearboxes. Looks very nice actually apart from the toe. It's a nice nice gear, nice solid gearbox. Uh, brass pushings. Right well I've had to use the good old um, cobalt drills and the good old um, um, these things here, I forgot what they're called now, because um, there was two um, screws here, gearbox screws, that uh, have been rounded off and uh, so I'm going to have to replace those with uh, probably TM ones that I've probably got. Uh, it's only being held in place by that one, which I know where I can but, um Very disappointed really. As you can see I'm holding it like that, there's lots of metal shavings there from so I'm just going to brush those away. I don't know what's going in the gearbox. Uh, right, let's find. I think that screwdriver. Oh no, let's actually use that screwdriver there. It's not. Doesn't go in very far. But let's just see what happens when we crack this open. Let's see what we got. Don't really need those glasses on now. Right, there we are. Let's release that spring tension. Um, there's the green gut grease. I'm sure that's focusing in, but that's uh, typical of AGM. Uh, not as much grease as, uh, as normally found. Metal spring guide, typical AGM. And see what the compression's like. So it may be that the, the compression's just gone. There we go. Compression's good. Look at the state of that. Piston is showing signs of wear there on that first tooth. It's interesting that uh, the second tooth is missing, is not on there, that's been removed, probably, yeah, that's been removed at the factory. Um, but yeah, that piston is, is going to go soon. I'll speak to Aaron to see if he wants a new one. And that is Yuki. Interesting, there's a sector clip in there. Sorts of bits of, uh, it's like a bit of a dead fly there. Yeah, the uh, gearbox grease has got into the cylinder, which isn't really a good, good idea, really, because it will rot the, the rubber on the, on the O-rings at some point, and obviously mess up the hop-up and all sorts of things. God knows where that's come from. 
probably a tractor. Um, I don't know whether you can see that, but that's the um, the wear there on the uh, on the piston. It's not too bad, um, but with a bigger spring, um, it could go. But it's it's a pretty good, pretty solid um, piston. That it's not too bad. Um, in fact, what we'll do is just check the angle of engagement. Let's pop that in. Alright, that's there is at rest. So we bring that up. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Because what happens is that when that comes round that you want it to give backwards pressure rather than upwards pressure the upwards pressure will probably fracture the piston in that area which is what happened to Mike's so when that goes round it moves it backwards and you want it to go with backwards pressure rather than upwards pressure all these gears I, I think ought to be cleaned because um, the grease is pretty gungy now so that's not that's not too bad so that piston would work for a bit longer but I would want to change that if it was mine and backwards. But as you can see there, that anti-reversal latch has got, uh, where is it, just there, if you look there, it's got a bit of a grunge out of it. Now how that's happened, I don't know. See instantly, uh, with that on, I've just twisted the gears round and they're smooth as silk. It goes in there, that's in there. It's a very tight spring, that spring. That's in there nicely. It needs to go back in there. Right, by reversing the polarity on the um, motor terminal wires, um, I've been able to make this work so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, um, I really need to adjust the um, motor height uh, it does sound a little bit on the gaunchy side don't really like that so I'm going to adjust that slightly oops so you can see Move it back. That's it. That's about perfect. It actually does. I'm just going to just try the, the full auto. That's quick. That's on a 9.6. Yep. Okay. Now let's just disconnect that. And we'll turn the chrono on and we'll see what it does. So. It's very consistent, which is nice. But if that